Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I hope everything is good for you. Wherever you are in the world, please let me know in the comments below. Today I was, you know, actually last night I was thinking about this. Um, I was thinking about, remember these things? Remember talking about before the fold and advertising and all that sort of stuff? This is a newspaper, in case you weren't aware. And I'm, I'm curious, you know, I know that I have a few international viewers. I know that I have viewers in lots of other states, uh, in lots of different places in the world. I'm curious to know if you, if you still get a newspaper. When I was a kid, the newspaper, um, I mean, it was, it was the daily source of news, right? Like, this is where... We learn about upcoming events and all that sort of stuff. Uh, we never, at least in my area, in a small town, didn't really have a um, like a local channel to tell us about stuff like that. So it, it was, and we didn't. We don't have <laughs> where I live. We have three cities in a row along one interstate corridor, and they're each separated by like twenty miles. So we're you know, I don't, I don't want to say it's the tri-city area because there's it's really not cities. They're <laughs> small towns, right? But essentially, uh, what happens in Morgantown, Fairmont, and Clarksburg is all pretty interrelated. And Fairmont, being in the middle, we never had our own TV station. So Morgantown has one, Clarksburg has one, but we never had one. And so the newspaper was our community's way of, of disseminating information because if we turned on the local news uh they usually talked more about their areas and less about fairmont um the newspaper was also my first job um i was a paper boy for i don't know a couple years i don't know how long i did it honestly but um i was paper boy for quite a while but i always remember my dad every morning would get up and and i would i would come out to go to school and this is what i would see you know dad reading the paper and when I was a, when I was a impressionable youth, because <laughs> I'm totally not impressionable anymore, whatever. When I was uh, young and I saw that, that was kind of like, I, I wanted that, right? I wanted to be the informed guy who, who, you know, took the time to read the paper every day and stay up on news and whatnot and so when I was a yuppie, when I was a, a professional, I thought oh, that's the mark, right? I'm gonna I'm gonna subscribe to the paper, and this was in the you know mid 2000s, so there was still a decent paper at that time, and since then it 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 took this nosedive, right? And I think everybody knows that the newspaper industry is really struggling right now to maintain. Um, you know, talking to my father back when Fairmont used to be, you know, it, it was never huge. Don't get me wrong; it's still like a the city is three blocks or something like that, maybe four blocks. So it was never a big city, but it, it, you know, to him it felt like that because there was there was a lot more people here then, you know, it, um, population wise, and uh, a lot more money being spent here. So it was it was a wealthier area. And when he so when he was a kid, there used to be two papers. There was the morning and the paper and the evening paper. And when I was a child, I don't. There was just the morning paper, to the best of my knowledge. I don't think we had an evening edition. Um, and now, there's still a paper. It still exists, but I don't know a single person who gets it besides my father. He still gets it, and I'm pretty sure he still reads it. Uh, I don't know anybody else who subscribes to the local newspaper. And then, what my newspaper has done in the last, I would say maybe a year. <laughs> Um, they sort of, they started this, this thing up and this is a, um, like a local, just kind of the, the not newsy stuff, but more of like local, uh, feel good stories, anything that's large, that's going on over a period of time. This isn't day to day news. 
this thing on I think it comes out once a week and it's completely free and it goes to they've contracted with the post office and it goes in everybody's post office box or mailbox or whatever uh, of course it's riddled with ads because that's how they pay for it you know there's lots of insert ads um, it, there's more ads than news <laughs> in here but I tell you what I appreciate this I really do like I actually read it I find myself uh, interested in what people have to say in here and you know in a in a time when uh, when I want to know something anything I just pick up my phone and type it into Google and I learn it uh, I don't know there's something there's something nice about this product I don't I'm not a couponer so I th these are completely lost on me um, but you know what these are good for is because I don't get the newspaper these are really good to use when printing t-shirts which if you weren't aware there are t-shirts available at the daily shed.com forward slash shop for you to purchase and I make them myself here with that screen and I so I use these little inserts to put in your t-shirts when I print them so that they don't get ink on them but this is cool does your community have something like this do, do free papers still exist? I know there's um, college papers are pretty common in, in places that are free, uh, but this is this is a little more than that. This is like actual actual journalism. This isn't Facebook posts in print form, which is uh, pretty remarkable. And I always wondered what would happen to this newspaper because I, you know, I kind of had this nostalgic tie to it. Obviously, it's my first job. It was my father's first job. And, um, you know, I had this kind of romantic idea about the paper. So it's good to see them doing something that is what's, it must be profitable for them or they wouldn't continue doing it. Um, and I don't know what their subscriptions are like anymore, but this is cool. So I just wanted to know, do you get the paper? Do you read the paper? Do you know people who read the paper? Um, there are still strong Sunday editions of most papers. I'm aware of that. Uh, and that's cool, but local papers that's what i'm really curious about to know if local news is still important uh in your area and maybe it's a rural thing maybe that's just the way that we do it here because we don't have strong uh tv news and so a lot of little communities have their own newspapers and still um still find a way to succeed in this digital age so i'm curious to know let me know uh tomorrow is the 300th episode of the show and that's pretty awesome. I have not checked the P.O. box yet to see if there's any postcards in there. I hope there is. If there's not, that's fine. I, I can't expect you to send me postcards. I would like it if you did so. And I will send you a postcard back and maybe we write each other a neat little message and I get a cool postcard to put on the wall and put online. But I can't expect it of you. Um, so if you don't do it, don't feel bad about it, right? I've already received some emails. I've received a few, well, I've received one voicemail. So if you want to leave a message for tomorrow's 300th episode, please do so at 304-602-7433. That's my voicemail. And we'll play it tomorrow. Otherwise, send me an email to chevydaleyshed.com and um, let me know, you know, ask me some questions that I can answer tomorrow. Um, Tell me a story about yourself or share with me something that you would like for me to share with the show. Whatever it might be, I'll plug your business. I don't care. <laughs> Just send me some stuff to talk about tomorrow so that I don't have to think. Because today's... I actually just woke up. So <laughs> took a nap when I got home. It's been one of those days. But um, yeah. So thank you guys for watching as always. I really, really, really appreciate you. And I am going to probably go back to sleep and get ready for a big day tomorrow. Thank you so much. I will see you tomorrow. Hey, Doc, wait. I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from chow.com. Can you eat the skin of camembert? I have no idea what that is. Yes, you can eat the rind of a soft, ripened, cheese-like brie or camembert, but just so you know, sometimes it won't taste so good. 
Soft cheeses bruise like an apple, says Max Sherman, director of national sales for the Marin French Cheese Company, which makes a number of sauce cheeses in Petulama, California. So what is camembert and what is the skin? I gotta look that up. 